Hi, Peter Rosinski here, Product Marketing Manager for 3D Via Composer. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create interactive 3D animations using 3D Via Composer. I've read in my SOLIDWORKS assembly file and you can see that I'm going through and I'm selecting components and dragging them away from my assembly. This is to create my initial exploded view. I take a snapshot of that and then I simply reverse the process. I select each component and restore it to its neutral or as assembled position. As I do that for each component, I take a snapshot which creates the views that I'm going to use to create my 3D animation. Once I have all the views I need, I then go into animation mode. I simply drag and drop each of my views to the animation timeline. You can see that this is a very simple procedure. There's no hocus and no pocus. Once I have all my views on the animation timeline, I can bring my timeline back to the beginning, hit the play button, and see what I get. Now once I'm happy with my animation, I can then package everything up as a very lightweight, self-extracting executable which includes the free 3D Via Composer player. This allows me to create a file that I can send to anybody that allows them to see and interact with the animation that I just created. They double click on the file, launch the 3D Via Composer player, hit the play button, and they can see how this part is assembled. Because it's interactive, they can pause it, pan, zoom, rotate, etc. Even cut away at the model to see what's happening on the inside. But I think that you can see how this can be a very effective tool for training manufacturing personnel on assembly procedures, as well as creating other technical communication deliverables, such as repair and maintenance procedures. So until next time, clear your mind, focus, and get that project done.